Hey everyone, so again, welcome back to Two Minute Tuesday and today for those two minutes we're going to be carrying on with that new Tanex AHV theme and we're going to be adding in our cluster and then we're going to be deploying the proxy to the AHV, uh, to the AHV cluster. So as you can see, I've just added in our IP address, we could add in DNS name. I've previously added the, the credentials in there. And then how do we want the FLR appliance to look if and when we need to use that? So this was a new new feature in the latest release. And this allows us to not be required for Linux file level recovery to have to deploy anything to a vSphere or Hyper-V environment to be able to actually read those Linux file systems. This way it allows us to do it um, on the actual AHV cluster, especially useful if you don't have the other um, or access to those other hypervisors. So we walk through that and then this goes away and this then deploys that proxy within our environment. As you can see, I've sped, I've sped this up ever so slightly given that I'm using a lab environment, using the community edition of AHV and all of that lab related hardware and, and configuration. Obviously it'll be a lot quicker on the actual actual stuff. What we can do also here as we go and create and deploy that AHV proxy, if you've been using version one, then we can take control of that now and upgrade that as part of the of the configuration. So we choose the virtual machine, we choose the networks, we add our credentials, we say what access permissions are available to that, and then we apply that. And again, I've sped through what this looks like to, to squeeze it into this, this quick two minute quick demo. So Obviously, what this is doing is implementing those those wizard um, inputs that you've just put in. And if we then go and jump over into our, once that's finished, that AHV proxy deployment is finished. We give that a next and then we can go and see that within the AHV cluster or access that from the web console. And then we can start configuring or seeing those jobs that are already in place. So if we hit go on to the web page, we authenticate into this. And there we have it. We have our HV proxy there deployed.